hi guys welcome once again to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel you kindly click the subscribe button to do so and if you are an already subscriber thank you very much for being with me so today i want to show you how to make tissue box so stay connected don't go anywhere and this tissue box is in two folds in part one and part two part one is made of the top of the tissue box and the part two is the body of the tissue box so after watching the part one kindly proceed to watch the part two of the tissue box make sure you don't skip so that you can get everything and make this beautiful design of tissue box this can help you make more income or extra income so learn a skill today stay connected and let's weave together <laughs> So guys, this is the materials that I'll be using to make this video. I have my thread, the green bead, white, red, blue, I have the scissors, I have the thread. So I'll just open up the thread and have the two edges together. Put a bit on it you'll be getting something like this at the first point you put four bits depending on the design you want to make that is how you'll be taking the beads colors so in this case i'm making a strawberry design with a blue touch to the bottom of the tissue box so we're we'll making it as i'm doing it just watch me follow how I'm picking the beads. You also get the same design. So I want the blue to line up at the bottom all around. So I have to be picking the blue bead one 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 at each point of the beads. So the size of the tissue box is going to be 18 by 10. That is in the a, a rectangle size or form. So the longer side is going to be 18 and the shorter side is going to be 10. So when you count all the four sides together, it's going to give you 56. Okay, so I'm not weaving it all round. I want to weave it very long. Then I'll just fold it and join it with one row. Then I'll get the four side. I'll just fold it in the form to get the four side design. You can also decide to do it the a rectangle form. That is where you turn it or fold it in the form of the tissue box before you weave it around it. Or you can weave it straight then you later fold it to the size that you want so i have other videos on my channel that i weave them all around that is i make the shape of the tissue box before i weave it all around but this one i'm weaving it long that is 56 steps before i'll join it so when i join it i'll be getting this exact size of the tissue box that i'm going to put inside this beaded box so I'll just continue weaving it this way anytime you want to make the red red, red design there at the first point where when you reach where you want to start you pick two of it two of the red then the other color you are using but in this case I'm using blue so when you move to the next step then you pick one of the red or the color you are using to do the design then you continue the weaving so just follow how i'm doing the design so that you can also do the same design 
I'll be teaching more designs and other styles on this channel. So please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly click the subscribe button to do so. So when you get to the last point, let's say this one, I'm weaving it 56 all around. I have to make it 55 first, then when I want to join the two sides together, I'll add the last one. The one I used to join it will make it the 56 one. So when you get to the last one, you want to turn to weave the next step. You have to put the all the three beads. You see that in each step, we are using three beads in each step. So when you get to the last uh, step that you want to turn so that you can weave the next step, you have to put all the three beads on one thread. So the thread outside the weaving or the thread on my right, that is where I put all the three beads. Then I cross with the third one. So I'll turn to the next length, the next step, then I can weave down. So this the way I'm weaving this bit, it will make it 55 by 5. The height is 5, but the actual height is 6. So when I want to join the top to the uh, body of the tissue box, the one I used to join it will make it the fifth one. So now I'll be weaving 55 by 5. So after weaving the 55, then I will join the two edges together with one. Then it will make it 56 by 5. Then if I want to join the, the top to the body of the tissue, well, that one will also make it 56 by 6. Then it will complete the body of the tissue box.
so at this point i'll be using the green color to make the flower on the strawberry that i'm creating in this bead so the design is going to be looking like in a form of strawberry so i'll just create that love there as well with the green color just to create the strawberry design in this tissue box Just put it inside the, the last two beads 
that is where I can be able to continue with it. So as you can see, the bits that I'm passing is true. So I'll pass it through the last two bits. The, these two bits. So at this point, I want to turn to the next side, to the next step. I'll turn to the next side to weave the next step. So I'll put the two bits on the right thread. So you realize that the thread has turned to one side so i'm coming to weave from that side also downwards because at this point we have three steps already so i'll continue weaving down to get the fourth step you remember i told you i'll be making it five steps so this is the fourth one i'm weaving so far so i'll just continue weaving down so watch me to create the design
So this is the last on the fourth row. I'll just run to the second one. So you realize that the thread has turned to the other side for me to weave the feet length. So I'll just put the three beads on the the, the thread on the top of it, all the three. Then I'll cross with the third one. So you see that I begin the feet length also. So I just continue weaving down to get the feet. Up. So after I get to the end of the feet row that I'm weaving, I'll just put the two edge together and join it with the 50 56 bead to make it complete body for the tissue box. So now you can see that I've gotten to the last point of the feet row. 
so after doing the last one i'll just bring the the second edge together with the one i just finished with it. then i'll cross i'll join it to make a complete body of the tissue box so as you can see i just bring the second edge together like this then i'll put one bead on the on the thread then i put it inside the bead on the second edge and i'll continue weaving down so just watch me as i weave it down so joining it with this bead will make it the 56th man that is the size of the tissue box so i'll just continue with it you put the thread here on the on the second edge you put the thread then you use one to cross the two to just join it so at this point this is the last one so now I've gotten the complete body of the tissue box so I'll just bring the thread together and tie it and then the body of the tissue box is completed so I'll be bringing the top to put on it and also weave all around to make it a complete tissue box so if you haven't watched the past one yet kindly proceed to watch it on my channel it's also uploaded already you just watch how to make the top of the tissue box then you come and watch how to make the body of it and join the two together on the channel too i have other videos that i did all together on the same on the same video so it's not part and part but they are all in one video so you realize that i've gotten it all around so i'm going to fold it in a rectangle form to get the size of the tissue box so remember i told you it's 18 by 10 so i did 18 then i'm making the 10 to just fold it that's all so the tissue the body of the tissue box is ready okay so this is the bottom of it i'll just turn it over So now I'm making the closure of the down the tissue box. So because if the tissue box gets finished in this beaded tissue box, you have to replace it. So we can't close all around. So we just have to make a small closing at the down part of it, just to support it firmly inside, to support the box that we put inside it firmly. So just watch me as I move that side. I weave it in a triangle form so that there can be space in it for opening up to put new box inside and close back. the triangle shape for the base of the tissue box what you have to do is that when you put the thread in the first bead and you weave to the last one the next step you have to skip the fair the first bead on the next step then you weave from the second to the last but one so on each step you have to be leaving one at the edge of it that is when you can get the triangle shape but if you continue weaving it all on the same length you will not get the triangle shape but if you want the triangle shape under the tissue box you have to be leaving one bit at the edge of each side so that you can get the triangle shape
so this is how you fold it down and the same way when the tissue finishes and you want to put new inside you just raise it then you put it inside and you just bend it on it to cover it up that's just simple as that so guys this is the final look of the body of the tissue box so if you haven't watched the first part which is the top of it kindly proceed to the link in the description box below to watch how to weave the top of it and if you have already watched that i hope you have learned a new design and will make this beautiful tissue box as well please if you are a new subscriber here kindly take your time to go through the other videos that i have on my channel and please if, if you haven't subscribed yet kindly do so on my channel so that anytime i post a video you'll be among the first to watch the video thank you very much for watching this video